People love the intro yesterday, man. Did you see it? All the comments. What we got today? Anything funny? We've got nothing. Brilliant. Glorious. No, I will give in. I will give in till I'm victorious. Hello, everyone. This is CJ Novo992, and today we are back for another brand new video. Today's video, we are finally back to talk about the football that matters. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's my great honour to tell you that the real Football is back. International gone. We don't need to talk about it for a while, thankfully. We are obviously here for some fan prediction on ons with myself and the people on Twitter and you guys in the comment section below to get your thoughts and opinions on the game tomorrow. Before we get into that though, I just want to give a massive shout out to each and every single person that I met at Resonate today. That was my two days over with for this year. I will obviously be back next year. It was amazing meeting every single one of you guys. It was a great laugh meeting so many members of the Novo Nation. And also special mention to Konami, obviously the makers of Pez. And Crispo at the Chris Bowler on Twitter. He's a member of the Novo Nation that works for Pez and works for Konami that reached out. There was plans put in a place, discussions discussed about the future and what we can actually do together. And I think the people watching this video that tune in each and every single day will be absolutely delighted on what could happen with this connection on it on it on. So stay tuned to that. But without any further ado, it's time to jump to the prediction. So let's get to it, shall we? Three, two, one. Hamon versus Rangers as Hamon's at home. It is going to be a plastic pitch which could cause a lot of issues. Hamon's been getting absolutely pounded from teams it seems like every single week now. Rangers, especially in the last couple of games, have been absolutely killing it. Especially with the important victories in Europe and obviously against Hearts to make the statement for the league. So that's great to see. They're coming in the two polar opposites of Forum. And I genuinely believe that will actually continue into tomorrow and the famous will go ahead and take hold. There is a bit of team news and injury updates I'm going to keep you updated with. Scott Arfield was obviously the latest one It's going to be out with an injury bug, but don't worry, it's nothing too serious, it's just a slight five problem, so that's the only one about from that. Which actually leads me to my next player I want to talk about, Gareth McCauley. I've been sort of reporting on his injury, how he's been recovering from this neck for about three or four weeks. In fact, since he's actually signed, from what I can find on the internet and obviously Steven Gerrard's interview, Gareth McCauley hasn't been listed as injured, so could we finally see the Gareth McCauley either on the bench or in and around the squad? That could be an interesting one. I doubt they will risk him in this horrific plastic pitch, however, but it's good to see that the man's getting back closer to fitness. That is what we like to see. The only other thing to sort of announce on the Rangers side that Lasana Koulibaly did arrive late back from international duty, which obviously upset Steven Gerrard. You can see that in yesterday's Q&A. He was very, very frustrated about that. It wasn't Lasana's fault. He tried to get back as soon as possible, but Gerrard has confirmed that Lasana's fully fit and he's ready to play as he's a naturally fit guy, so he is not ruled out by any means necessary. If you've not seen the past two videos, Kyle Laffer is also suspended for the game for missing international duty. He didn't follow the right protocol, so he's actually been suspended for the Hamilton game. But if you haven't seen the story already, don't worry, he is also back for European football. Also, by the way, before I continue with the rest of the video, I do apologise about my voice. There is nothing I can do about it. I've been shouting, I've been singing, I've been doing this and dabs. Not literally. Let's not talk about it, okay? So we're going to try and boss out for the rest of this video, but if it's annoying you, I do apologise. Back on the football side of things, so that is it all in terms of players, injury updates, all that cool stuff. Let's jump and look at some of the stats on form, all that stuff to give you a bit of background on this fixture. Rangers have actually won all eight Premiership games against uh, Hamlin, obviously, at their stadium by the aggregate score of 19 to 7. The only flip side of that is Steven Gerrard hasn't won away from home. That's what's in the paper. That's what you hear on the news. That's why we only get a couple of minutes at the end of every sports broadcast. That's weird, isn't it? But if you want another little cheeky stat, Hamilton's actually lost 87% of their games against Rangers home and away. So I think that's sort of even. On the Omen side of things, we'll put that even. But do I think it's going to be an even game? No, 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 no. I believe Rangers are going to win this game. I'm actually going to give you my prediction now. I believe that Rangers will win this game 2 no, I know a lot of people's expecting an absolute hammering. They're expecting this and that because Hamilton's just been getting pumped. I understand that completely. However, looking at the plastic pitch, I think that's going to be a major, major factor in this fixture. Rangers don't perform well on the plastic pitch. So that's kind of playing in my head a wee bit. But I think a 2 0, I will certainly take it. It will get us our first win away from home in the league. And I think that will get that sort of little chip off the side that everyone keeps digging at Steven Gerrard. So that will slap that bad boy to there. And Rangers will continue on and on and on toward 50. 
55. Please tell me that was 55. That was like my first time doing that. Got it? So there we have it, there you've heard my opinion on the game. Before we jump to Twitter and get the people's opinion, it is time for you, the person watching this video, to get your opinions in the comment section below. Let's see some goal scorers. If you want my two, I'm going to go with the Buffalo, Alfredo Morelos, to score the first goal. And I'm going to continue this theme of picking a striker and a defender, because it's worked decently for me. And I'm going to go with Big Katic to score the second Man, that was dramatic, wasn't it? It was like Star Trek in the 80s. If Katic doesn't play, I revert that to Captain Tavernier. It's quite cool how we kept the dramaticness. Got it. And as I'm seriously struggling to finish this video off, let's have a little sponsor break, shall we? We had so many at Resonate, so it is time to do it today. And instead of using my traditional bottle, a member of the Novo Nation did give me something to sponsor break, so I will be back in a second. Smooth transition. Where is it? Transition. I've got to be honest with you, I left up my car because I was eating them on the way home. It was a packet of Pringles. Shout out to that man. However, let's revert to the bad boy. Let's revert to the original. 3, 2, 1. Sports break! It's clean. Oh man, I needed that. So the people's opinion then, 784 votes, that was in the hour, in fact they've still got 34 minutes, so it's that quick maths. Not a clue. 26 minutes? So, let's see what the people's got to say, 92% votes for a Rangers win, 2% votes for the draw, but 5% of the people is voting for a Hamilton win. Now that is a surprise, we all know which people they are. Ian McDougall said anything less than a 4-0, I stage a one-man riot in Bristol, Morelos double, Kent and Flanagan, so glad the league is back, been going off my nut with the international break, so have I, I've hated every single second of it. Jamie Baggs, who I met and took a photo with, shout out to Jamie, said Hamilton should be buried by six goals minimum, easy run for the Jers. Stuart Ward says 3-1 to Rangers, Morelos, Golton and Big Kent. Will it? Why did I get louder? That was weird. Willie? I, I keep doing it. Anyway, Willie says, if we lose, what the fuck Snickers have Ak uh, Aki's been eating? 3-0 uh, to Rangers, Morelos, Kent and K Daniel Ken Diaz. <laughs> Struggle through that, Willie. Sorry. Cammy McKay says, I expect us to end the way they who do with a 3-0 win with Kent to score with a, after a mazy run, a golden header from a corner and a Morelos tapping from a Middleton cross. I think we'll stro stroll over the Aki's and I'll be group prep for Spartak on Thursday. Mate, if that's right, well done you. Honestly. You and McKenzie says, well win 4-0. Um, Morelos has scored two, Kent and Tavernier with the goals. Andrew Wilson says, well win 4-1. Morelos hat-trick and an Ajaya goal. That is what I like to see. Ashley Willis says, I'll say a strong 4-0 to the Bears. Uh, can you please follow me back, said? Let's get 6-2 to Rangers, got to have a strong performance after back-to-back -back wins in really hard games. I'll say Morelos gets four, Katic gets one, and I guess Arfield to get his first. And let's go rapid fire to wrap this bad boy up. David Smith says 4-0 to Z Famous. Judith uh, says a solid 6-0 win. Hopefully, I feel like I'm being a bit too optimistic, but as long as we don't get spooked by the plastic pitch, we'll be Fine. Ross Watson says 3 0 to Rangers. Morelos, Tavernier. Eh, Morelos has got 2 Tavernier. Easy wall. I he's tried to say win, but he spelt it like way Wallace. He's. But I passed it. I passed it. Only, only team for me says it's a must win tomorrow. Agreed. And the last two or three that I'll read out come from Scott. He says easy win, but we will pick up a few injuries, no doubt. Jack Alexander says a must win. There'll be a difficult game to break down. But uh, if we score early, the floodgates will open and the last one that we're reading in this week's episode comes from Sean Carson he says tomorrow is a must one cannot continue or even think we will challenge without a way win so there you have it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls you've heard the people's opinion you've heard mine well hopefully you've heard mine I don't know how the sound quality is but from here very scratchy yes this is the sign for scratchy that's going to be the end of today's video. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do so as we continue the march 
towards 22k. We're almost there. Let's get that momentum up. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe. And if you want to support the channel directly, there will be a link in the description to the Patreon, which is obviously funding the channel directly. I've been CJ Nova 92. Thank you so much for watching and bye bye. I also forgot to mention in today's video, if you go on Sharp Dev's YouTube channel, you will see an hour and a half interview with me and Tim. It's sort of before YouTube, the ups and downs, the hashtag academy. I talk about pretty much everything that I went through. And yeah, you can go ahead and watch if that's going to be interested. Yeah, the link will be in the description for that also. Bye bye again.